Host HX install tasks. Create data stores. Create a virtual machine. Create a native snapshot. And create ready clothes. Create data stores. Data stores are logical containers used by the HX Data Platform plugin to manage your storage use and storage resources. Data stores are where the host places virtual disk files and other VM files. Log in to the web client with root admin credentials using the IP address of the HX cluster. Under the new tech preview, you can click on data stores and create them directly from here. For this demonstration, we'll go to the vSphere Web Client vCenter inventory list and then Cisco HX Data Platform. Click on the Cisco HX Data Platform to see all the clusters along with their status, number of nodes in each cluster, and the space or capacity available for use. Double click on the newly created cluster and select the Manage tab in the Working pane. Select the Data Store tab and then click the Add Data Store icon. Enter a name. Note, the vSphere Web Client enforces a 42 character limit for the data store name. Assign each data store a unique name. Specify the size of the data store. You can choose gigabyte or terabyte from the drop-down list. Click OK. Note, since it's a shared storage in the cluster, we need only one data store and we'll select the maximum available size. Click the Refresh button to display your new data store. Click the Manage, Data Stores, and then Host tab to see the mount status of the new data store. Next, we'll create a virtual machine. Create a virtual machine. Navigate to vCenter Inventory, Host and Clusters, Data Center 1, and Cluster. Select the HX node, right click, and select New Virtual Machine. A setup wizard pops up to help you create the new VM. Use the default configuration of Typical and click Next. Accept the defaults for name and location and resource pool of the new VM. On the Guest Operating System template, specify the Guest Operating System to use with this VM. For this demonstration, we'll use the default. Then click Next. On the Network template, specify the network connection that will be used by the VM. For this demonstration, we'll select VMNet3 adapter from the drop-down list and accept the defaults for the number of NICs. Click Next. On the Create a Disk template, specify the virtual disk size and provisioning policy. For this demonstration, we'll accept the default of 40 GB and select Thin Provision. Click Next. Click Finish to create the new virtual machine. Next, we'll take a snapshot of the VM before turning it on. Create a Native Snapshot A Native Snapshot is a reproduction of a VM that includes the state of the data on all VM disks and the VM power state at the time the Native Snapshot is taken. Take a Native Snapshot to save the current state of the VM so you have the option to revert to the saved state. From the vSphere Web Client Navigator, navigate to vCenter Inventory Lists, Data Center, Cluster, and virtual machines. Either right-click the VM or click the Actions menu in the VM Information Portlet. Ensure there are no non-HX data platform data stores on the storage cluster resource pool or the snapshot will fail. 
right click the VM, scroll down and select Cisco HX Data Platform and then Snapshot Now to display the Snapshot dialog box. Enter a name and description for the snapshot, then click OK. To schedule a snapshot, right click the VM and select Schedule a Snapshot to adjust your backup requirements. You can select hourly, daily, or a weekly schedule. This can allow you to retain more frequent snapshots of critical data. Next we'll create ready clones. Create ready clones. HX Data Platform Ready Clones is a storage technology that enables you to rapidly create and customize multiple clone VMs from a host VM. The existing VM is called the host VM. When the cloning operation is complete, the ready clone is a separate guest VM. Changes made to a ready clone do not affect the host VM. A ready clone's MAC address and UUID are different from those of the host VM. From the vSphere Web Client Navigator, select vCenter Inventory Lists, Data Center, Cluster, and Virtual Machines. Select a storage cluster VM, right click the VM, and select Cisco HX Data Platform, then Ready Clones to display the Ready Clones dialog box. Specify the number of clones that you want to create. You can create up to a maximum of 256 clones at a time. Click the drop down list to select a customization specification and resource pool for the clone. Type a prefix for the guest VM name. Enter a clone number for the starting clone. Select the Use Same Name for Guest Name checkbox to use the vCenter VM inventory name as the guest host VM name. If you uncheck this box, a text box is displayed. You can use the default value of 1 in the increment clone number by field, or you can enter a value by which the clone number of the guest VM name will be increased. The system appends a number to the names of the VM clones, such as clone 1, clone 2, and clone 3. Select the checkbox for power on VMs after cloning to turn on the guest VMs after the cloning process completes. Click OK. This completes the configuration and installation of the HX data platform.